we're going to inspect the pool area Lincoln Suite the outside by the woods where some soldiers have been seen Native Americans have just disappeared it's on now we're going to introduce our guest John what are you expecting John well, we're going to use a black light and see what it goes on in a hotel room and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, John. That's going to be cut. John, what are you expecting? I don't know. <laughs> Cheryl, I'm expecting to see some good looking Confederate soldiers. <laughs> I'm Tom. I'm new to this. Uh, just looking for ghosts. All right. Dave, EMF meter. I'm going to set this baby off tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. That's it. FBI agent. <laughs> Dina, I've got a ghost meter. We're going to set this puppy off, too. <laughs> I'm Angela, and I'm going to try to use this to find some ghosts. I'm Lauren, and I'm uh, just here to find some ghosts. Hi, I'm Patty. I've got the thermostat. I have a feeling it's going to be very cold or very hot. <laughs> I am Christy. I'm hoping to see something or hear something. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm a seasoned paranormal investigator. Um, I'm just hoping uh, the other side may contact tonight and let me know they're there. I'm Phil in uh, Gettysburg. I want to see some dead soldiers. <laughs> wow. I'm Heather, and I'm expecting the unexpected. That's right, always. I'm Debbie, and I'm looking for excitement. <laughs> Uh, I'm Garrett, I'm here for coffee and donuts. <laughs> I'm Jeff, uh, hoping to pick up a couple good EVPs. Those donuts are mine. <laughs> I'm Robin and I'm expecting a lot of activity tonight. Okay, what's going to happen now is Mike's going to do a little outside walk and just show you the front part of this hotel. It's so massive that if I told Mike to walk around the hotel, we'll be done the investigation by the time he comes back. So. Upstairs on the second floor, we're heading to the Lincoln Suite. A lot of activity last time. I hope we get the massive activity this time, too. Um, one team went to the pool, one team went to the forest area. About 30 minutes, we're going to hook up and see what they get so that we can switch around and cover this, as much of this hotel as we can. You folks ready? Yes. Let's rock. Let's rock. Right now we're firing up the spirit box. We're going to try to get some communication in room 255 um, with our members here. We're going to ask some questions, see what we can conjure up. Don't. Don't. You know you're sitting next to a lady, right? Maybe. So I heard it's the same spirit. I want you to ask him if he's a soldier. Are you a soldier? Yes. Yes, maybe he's Confederate or Union. Are you Confederate or Union? He said you're hot. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a soldier because that's what they it's, do with women. They say all kinds of stuff. Are, yep. Are you Union or Confederate? 
Union. Union. I union. Heard yep. Union. <laughs> and what? He said the other two. <laughs> Ask him what he's talking about. Who are you talking about? Yeah, we heard you, but who are you talking about? I want you to ask that female that just said, Can, did you hear me? Um, ask her if she passed away in this room. Go ahead. Just ask her. Yep, just ask her. Did question. you pass away in this room? Can I call them? Call who? Call who? Came in broken up. That was that same year in so Tell me, came in broken up. He came in broken up. Great. Hmm. Um, ask him if we're safe in this room. Are we safe in this room? Ask her who's in this room. Who is in this room? Three. Three spirits? Any of you with the moose lodge? Sure. Yeah, we said something. Is it okay if we're in this room investigating? Are you going to touch anybody tonight? Like you did last time. Tell me who you're going to touch. You're not going to touch none of the guys, right? <laughs> he said all of them. He's got that accent. You're not going to touch none of the guys, right? I'm going to make sure of that. Is it okay if we um, put the women in the other room? And all the men will stay in this room. How's that sound? Mike. Whoa. You know Mike because he works here, right? You know me? What's your name?
The ladies are going next door. Is that okay? We're going to split up now and turn off this spirit box. But we want you to communicate through our lights. Yeah, we're splitting up. The men are going to be in here and the ladies are going to be in the other room. how fast he's going. Um, ask me if it's okay to be in this room. Is it okay to be in this room? I'm getting out. Okay. <laughs> oh. Please come to the light in my hand. Is it safe for us to be in this room? Tap once for yes, two for no. Is it safe to be in this room? We got activity. Banging in this room. I heard him banging. Yep, can you? We heard you. Can you come touch the light for me? Can you touch me? Can you make another noise? These are around. I think they got frustrated with us. Yeah, they just moved. We weren't so sure how to ask the question, so I think he got frustrated with us. But what we heard was, oh, oh you're go, back. You Thank you for being so patient for us. <laughs> We're all new to this. Um, are, are you the same spirit that visited us a little while ago? Can you blink once for yes, two for no? What was that? There was a click, but it didn't blink. Can you do it a little bit harder so the lights can flash? Thank you. So that's a yes? Yeah. That's so cool. Are you a, are you a Union soldier? Yes. Are you a young boy? Once for yes, two for no. Yes. Yes, you're a young boy. Are you the same boy who's visited us a few minutes ago? Blink once for yes. Two for no. Yes. Yes. How come sometimes it goes on and off and other times it flashes? It all depends on how much, how hard they do it. Are you, are you seven years old? Mm. I just want to get in there. <laughs> Can you do a, a no for us? Blink it twice. Thank you. Oh, got it. That is really cool. No, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Are you the only one in here? Can you do once for yes, twice for no? Yes. Is there somebody in the other room there? Once for yes, twice for no. What we got is some knocks on the back wall here. We ask for some signs and some communications. Um, and then we keep persisting and asking more. And then we got some scrapes like this on the wall. Real light. So I'm thinking the entity's trying to communicate with us, but they're just not coming out and touching our K2s or any type of um, other activity. You can scrape on the wall again. Crazy, isn't it? Can you smile for the camera? I don't hear anything, but it's just really weird. Yeah. She's getting a lot of static in the parabolic ear, and that's, that's typical for spiritual um, activity affecting the electronics because they don't want you to know where they're at, walking around the room, hovering, whatever it may be. So that, that's typical with the parabolic ear. Basically what's happening is, is just like in the funeral home, there's portals everywhere, and what we have here is possible portal activity again, uh, where the spirits come in and out of that realm, that dimension, to interact with us or whatever they may be doing. Okay. 
big difference, huh? Still a lot of interference. Is the lady here? Yes. Is she in the room with us right now? Did she follow me in here? Once for yes, twice for no. Probably yes. Thank you. Okay. Is there anybody else in here with you? Once for yes, twice for no. Oh my God. He doesn't like to talk about the battle. He doesn't like to talk yeah. about the battle. Yeah, he, asked him he had he a little killed. dog. They're trying to ask him which day he might well, have perished. And then he left. And when we asked him if he died on July 1st, he left. Hmm. Thank you. What we ask Are you the same soldier that was just talking to us? Okay, once for yes, twice for no. Okay, thank you for that communication. We appreciate it. Are you the same soldier that visited us a few minutes ago? Once for yes. No. no. Twice for no. Just Are you no. female? Once for yes, twice for no. Yes. No. Yes. But then it came back up again. Can you say that again? Are you a female? Once for yes, twice for no. Yes. He's a female. He's the lobby, guys. He's the lobby. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go. Well, right, thank goodbye. you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and finish talking, Tom. Okay. We said bye. What you said, said bye. Yeah, he's, he, uh, he'll leave. It's a, it's a female. Yeah, sure. She'll leave. Um, is it okay for us to go downstairs when another team comes up here? Nope. No. Not okay. No. You like us? Do you like us? Once for yes, twice for no. She's thinking. I think she's just trying to get to know us. Yeah, yes. she's, she likes us. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to head downstairs now, okay? Yep. Okay. It's okay to turn that off, right? She's gone. Yeah. All right. We are outside now met up with the other teams we got some activity we got some activity in 255 when we left that suite now we're heading over to where some of the Native Americans have been seen and some of the um, Confederate soldiers have been seen near the wooded area down here we're heading straight out that way and we're gonna see what kind of activity we get they got some activity the last team that was out there some some voices um, some meters going off so let's rock and roll let's rock. Americans have been seen by tourists and of course, Confederate soldiers over here in this tree line. 30 of them were seen a month ago. We have been told by management that when the people came back out, because they were told there was no reenactors here, they came over and they saw the Confederates disappearing into the tree line. They went over there, a husband and wife, and there's nobody around dressed in uniforms. There's nothing going on. So we're going to go over here and see if we can get some activity. Come on. Big Mike. Yeah. Okay, we're over here as a group. My team. Um, we got the meters running. We're gonna see if we can get some activity here. Uh, go ahead and tell them to come to the light in your hand. Let's, uh, let's stay steady and use our senses, and then tell them to come to the light. Whoever's in the woods. Whoever's out there in the woods, can you come to the light in my hand? He's there. Look He's at here. that. That fast. Yep. Cool. Are That's you a soldier? There you go. Once for yes, Once twice for, yes, for, yes, twice for no. That's okay. 
Are you okay? Yep, he's a soldier. Okay. Are you Union? Good. Yep. <clears throat> Are you a young person? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. Do you have a family? Once for yes, twice for no. Do you miss them? Once for yes, twice for no. Sometimes they run away when you start asking personal questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he misses them. You have a sister and a brother? Once for yes, twice for no. Yep. When was the last time you eat? Did you eat today? Once for yes, twice for no. Today. Do you have friends with you? Oh, gone. Yep, because he started thinking. Started asking those real deep personal questions. The Union soldier through the Ghost Mirror Pro. We're trying to coax them and, and get them to come out again. And maybe make some kind of noises, banging. I'm going to try my military call, whistling. Did a Union soldier up? You won't ask first two personal questions. <laughs> I was a former, I'm a former U.S. Marine, so that's federal. And I know you're a federal soldier. Can you um, come out and talk to us? If I whistle, will you whistle back? Military calls. Oh, nice. oh, we do it all the time to get, get responses. Remember back then they didn't have radios, that's how they contacted each other, banging on trees, things like that. Can you whistle back or bang on a tree? Oh, he's back. back. Yeah, he came back. Ask him if he heard my whistle. Did you hear JP's whistle? Once for yes, twice for no. Cool. Keep asking them questions. Keep them here. Can you do a whistle for us? Yep. We'd like to hear your whistle. Can you show us a whistle so we can hear it? Did you have a whistle or a call when you were in battle? Yep. Can we hear it, please? Yeah. So when you leave, will you whistle for us? Will you make some kind of a call that you use? Okay, we appreciate that. We're going to look forward to hearing that. And if you can't even do that, bang on one of the trees for us. Okay? Yep. Thank you. Oh, listen, Did you see what? 
That's us, right? Yeah. Okay. It's kind of difficult to hear. Got a lot of background. Yeah. Had that fan. Yeah. That's on. Yeah. Sometimes even even with the noisy background, what I'll do is I'll walk around with them. Yeah. I'll be like, I'll say it. I'll be like, okay, I'm doing a voice recording to pull it. But I am walking while doing this, so that way I know the footsteps and the noise I can hear is going to be fine. But sometimes I just walk with it in my hand. after I ask the question. What did you hear? Yes. After. Can you come back? I'd like to talk with you. We'd all like to speak with you. Could you come back? I'm a soldier myself. I was in the Army for 14 years. West side of the hotel where major ballrooms are at. Last time we were here, we got a lot of activity in here also. Um, a lot of walking in these rooms. Uh, sometimes it sounded like boots, things like that. We're going to go further back and see if we can get some good activity. Yeah, so, so you're not a, 
Yes, you are afraid of water. There was a terrible accident that happened here, I understand. She was, what, 11 months? Like yes. Mm -hmm. you were, were you 11 years old when you, the accident happened here? Yep. Yes. I bet you miss your mother or your father. We've got some contact in the pool area. A little girl came to the Ghost Meter Pro, spoke with one of the um, members. Um, she doesn't like the water. I don't like the water. It's a creepy feeling out here. It's very dark, creepy. The only thing that's illuminated is the cabana and the actual pool. So it, it, it's not a good feeling out here. You can feel that, 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 that negativity or, or whatever it may be coming from the other side. Seance, me and Dennis, another lead investigator, shared it. It is a big banquet room. We're down in the darkness. I'm going to try to conjure up some of the spirits that we spoke to tonight via meters and spirit box. You ready for this? Absolutely. I want you to ask the spirits that you spoke to tonight to come to the light on the table to speak to us. Go ahead. Nathan, okay? 
by an old spirit, soldier, whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around the table. We're going to each ask a question. Any question you want to ask the spirit, they will give you that answer, I guarantee you. Life. See what they want? That's what they want. They want life. That's what you have, life. That's what they want. That's why when you're open to the paranormal, you always got to have backup, which is called spirituality, holy water, sea salt, everything. You're first, Joe. Ask a question. Anybody that wants to speak to me, you can come on out. Come on down and speak to me. I'm friendly. like to know how long you've been around. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
Are you the same one that was in the room earlier?
John, you're next. Do you like me? I didn't hear you. Speak up. Do you like me? You know, if I can't hear you, they can't hear you. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> you scared them out of here, man. Mike, ask a question. 
Who took the keys? Ron did. Who's a Ron? You know Does his name start with JB? We're going to wrap this up. We appreciate you speaking with us. We thank you for that. We do know that you cannot follow anybody at home here, correct? Yeah. Thank you. There's no second floor in this area and I hear stuff up on the roof. I've been hearing it since we've been here. Can you say here. bye to all of our guests? Yes. Because you don't want to turn this off. This is communication, right? We could do this all night long like I do all the time, but you know we have to turn it off. Thank you. We just finished up the conjuring up of the spirits using the um, spirit box. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, wrap this up. So we're going to stand up. We're going to say a prayer, close it out, and then we'll do a couple of interviews on camera. Close it out that way on what everybody thought about the investigation. We're going to say this um, ending blessing. We gather here tonight to investigate this massive hotel. And of course, we always get some sort of activity, some connection with the spirits on the other side through the spirit box and or our electronic devices. Sometimes we get those personal influences and we appreciate that and we thank you for coming through and wanting to speak and communicate with us somehow or another. You do know that you cannot follow anybody in this room to their hotels, cars, homes, anything of the sort. You will be forever sealed in this room. If you're a guide or a loved one, you're already attached and we do not control that. If you know about the light, go to the light. If you believe in God, the Creator, use Him to guide you to the light. With that being said, by the grace of God, amen. 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 All right. All right, we're wrapping up another night of paranormal investigating with our members and guest members that we brought out. 
<laughs> okay, we're going to interview a couple of guests. Who wants to volunteer to be interviewed? Come on no. over here. <laughs> this is Angela. What did you think about tonight? It was really fun. I like the little spirit boxing. It was my favorite. Was it? Yes. That is cool, isn't it? That is. That is the, so she loved the spirit box. <laughs> you got a lot of communication through that, didn't you? Yeah. So do you think you'll ever come back again? Absolutely. Or are you going to run for the hills now? No. <laughs> Absolutely right, be good. back. Well, I'm glad you came out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who's Hello. What's your name again? Cheryl. Cheryl. We yes. I absolutely love the spirit in room 225. He was 255. 255. That's okay. I got you. Yes. <laughs> I got you. Still blonde hair. What are you going to do? Yep. Well, he was absolutely nice, and I picked up a lot of stuff on him, and he was, it was really great. Got a lot of good um, pictures, orbs in our pictures. Uh, we got some um, good evidence with, with the spirit box. So it was, I, I'd definitely come back again. Speak to the box. <laughs> <laughs> the box is a little freaky. <laughs> oh, I'm Lauren. And um, the box is probably the one thing that scared me the most. Scared I'm a wimp. Box. Yeah. It's I'm direct a wimp. communication, though, isn't it? Yes. Right to the T. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to come back again? Probably. Or are you going to yes. stay away? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll come back. Okay, cool. Thank you. We'd yeah. love to have you back. Yeah. Okay. And who are you? I'm Dina. Dina. The hot one. What did you think about? <laughs> <laughs> no, not the hot one. The oh, hot this? one. Oh, the hot one. The hot That's one. right. Yes, yes. Sorry. I thought it was I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was amazing. I learned some things tonight and um, heard some things tonight that were different. Paranormal. <laughs> Paranormal, yeah. Um, I thought it was great, and I definitely would come back. Thank you. Good to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Patty. And I thought I was, I had paranormal experiences in the past with my rods and some heat on my back. I had so many experiences tonight that I never had before, and I was so creeped out in the Lincoln Room. Oh, yeah. Um, I know someone died in the Lincoln Room, and I sort of had to felt the presence that they were there with us. Mm -hmm. And they were. I don't want to go back to that room again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say your name, Phil. I'm Phil. So what did you think about tonight, Phil? Well, I think it's interesting that sometimes you get that creepy feeling and you think maybe it's just your mind running away, uh -huh. and then the box says something, you realize maybe it's not your mind just yeah. running away. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good. It was enlightening, a little creepy at times, but it's fun. Different investigation, huh? Yeah. yeah all around. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great to have you. You'll come back, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, definitely. Thank good. You. All right. Mike, what did you think about tonight? Sorry. How does. I had a scary feeling when I came inside the building, but it turned out to be very good. Were you looking in the mirror? Oh, my yeah. daddy, my uh, daddy. <laughs> there's many mirrors around here. You know, for some reason, this And they're portals, aren't they, Mike? Yeah. They sure are. I get that feeling every time I come into this building. It's sort of that I'm still worried. Yeah. No. What do you think about tonight, Dennis? Uh, very good. Uh, this is the second time for me. Um, a little bit more than the first time, actually. Mm -hmm. um, actually, a neat spot. We we got some we got some good evidence. So yeah. you know, whether it's an EVP definitely. or a voice or something like that, uh, we definitely got some. We got some noises. Something man down in the woods. Oh yeah. Something broke a very big stick. Whoa. I don't know. It wasn't a little twig. It uh -oh. was it was a good stick. So it was cool. Personal experiences and stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, definitely it's cool. So every time we come back, so maybe number three. Yeah, yeah. Be you, you never know. We come back next time. Maybe we'll be able to get in a couple more rooms that were definitely yeah. active. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Cool. Man. Cool. All right, anybody else want to be interviewed? You're all tired, aren't you? Are you tired? Remember what I said about Perky, Perky, Perky? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What did you think? I thought this was an awesome investigation, and I have an awesome cameraman that Dennis said to keep you on board, so you're good. All right, we are signing off here. This is JB with Ghostaholics. We will see you on our next one, and the next one's going to be even better than this one. Adios. <laughs> That's it.